until BDC, probably in the bottom half from here. So still, I'm gonna see a little bear spread from here for the MPL targets, okay? Okay, so let's start. Okay, this is my full production of 6,000 So total return since my 2018 is 681%. Last week, no big change. Then these are my all crypto assets currently investment in. Then these are my total investment return for each crypto assets. Then if you are interested, much more detailed information about my full productions and also my real time buying and selling signal for every single crypto assets, including ICO, ID of DeFi, please think about to join my premium membership program real time buying a saving signal. The major purpose of this membership program to help you reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. So for more detail, please check out my other video. Then here's my video link, okay? Then let's stand up here, flow. So, key news updates. DAPA Labs debut 725 million ecosystem fund for flow blockchain developments. It's amazing. Here's a quotation from an article. The, deep, the fund is backed by investor with large holding of the network native token flow, as well as equity in Dapper Lab itself. They include Andres and Followitz, Quartil, Union Square Venture, Greenfield One, Liberty City Ventures, and CoinPen, among others. Amazing work. This size itself is one of the biggest ecosystem fund in the crypto space. That is why, I'm gonna continuously see pretty big potential for the flow as a one player in a bus market, okay? Then flow on USDT weekly chart, still bearish because of the entire crypto assets bearish trend. So to me, these deep moments on flow itself is a great additional investment opportunity for me, okay? Then next one, Luna. So here is updates. So as we know, the Luna got a huge market crash. Then the one of the co-founder, Du Quan, proposed this revival plan on the Luna DAO. Then here's the key information about that proposal. So what remains? While USD has been the central native of Terra Global story over the last year, and the Terra ecosystem and its community is what is worth preserving. Number one, we'll build up the one of the largest and most vibrant dropper ecosystem in crypto with some of the smartest minds in the world working on product with the best UI and UX. Second, Terra Station has a large install base with million plus users across the world. Third, also in the distance, strong brand recognition and a name that almost everyone in the world will have heard about. It. Then this is the key things, what Duke Kwan exactly think about. The Terra community must reconstitute the chain to preserve the community and the developer ecosystem. And to realize this in the constitutions, this is his brief plan, as a revival plan. So starting with this one, validator should reset the network ownership to 1 billion tokens, then distribute among these allocation here. First, 400 million, the 40% of the total, to Luna holder before the deep packing events. Last one dollar tick before the DPEG on Binance should be the reasonable. The B Lunar, Luna X, and the Luna Health in the contract should also for recipients minus the Terraform Lab accounts at this address here. Then the new chain should be community owned. Then preserving decent ownership of the network in its strongest believer and builder is important. Then next 40%, 400 million to USD holder. Prata at the time of the new network update. USD holder need to make whole as much as possible. The next one, 100 million, total of the 10%. To Luna holder at the final moment of the chain halt, last minute marginal Luna buyer should be compensated for their role in attempting to provide stability for the network. Last 10%, 100 million. To the community pool to find future developments. Then, additional two items here. All Luna beside the third tranche should be staked at the network genesis state. That network should incentivize its security with a reasonable inflation rate, let's say 
as P will no longer be enough to pay for security without the swap fees. Then based on this you know, revival plan, primary things we have to think about. The future development of the stable stablecoin is less down here. So first of all, as a blockchain industry, we have to so seriously think about future of post-US dollar era. Because current US dollar market dominance is over 60%. But to think about the future development, much more sustainable economy, we have to think about post-use dollar currency system by using blockchain technology. Why? Because we have to think like this one. Current US dollar based economy is fully centralized model. Think about the much more sustainable economic system on a whole or less level. We have to realize decentralized stablecoin system like this way. Then, of course, the perfect match for these technical adaptations is blockchain. Then, currently, we have two main scenarios to realize decentralized stablecoin. Number one, number two, right? The number one scenario, most biggest potential here is Ethereum. Because those crypto assets fully must adapt it, which pretty big potential the software infrastructure itself will be like post US dollar key currency in a global economy. As we know, 20th century, just like a crude oil era, then 21st century is there. So that's why the context of the digital world for the decentralized crowd computing system is perfectly makes sense. So we can think about Ethereum is a primary option for scenario one. Then scenario two, it's a completely different one. Since we have a variety of the crypto assets, not only for Ethereum, but also as Solana or any other major game in crypto assets still, we can build fully decentralized stable coin by collateralizing these major assets, such as Ethereum or Bitcoin or something. That's scenario two, right? Then currently, taking a peg approach for the USD is a major model. The is welcome for us because, you know, we can rely on, just like riding on a giant's shoulder, kind of golden principle for the innovations. Then, US dollar is most mass adapted and a very stable key currency on a global basis. So try to build fully decentralized soft banking stablecoin solutions. It's quite a scalable idea, right? Then of course, USD matching currency here, number two. Then because of this, you know, this time, you know, USD crash, we can suppose two higher, we can suppose pretty big investment opportunity, I'm gonna suppose like a 10x investment opportunity because of its USD crash. Why? Because from here, we can suppose two major scenarios. Number one, we can gain and buy extremely cheap Luna token again, right? Because of this crash, right? Second, alternative lunar project will bond and grow up from here. You know, either way, we have a pretty big chance for the investment. Then actually, I'm gonna take this news much more positive way. Because again, decentralized stablecoin project is one of the biggest potential projects in blockchain space. That's why, okay? Then here, Luna USDT weekly jump, heavily crash. Then AMC USDT, Anchor Protocol. Compare with Lunar, it's actually, you know, recovery power is much stronger. So I'm thinking about you know, initial investment for the Anchor if the Runa Revival Prime, if I'm gonna see pretty big potential for Runa Revival Prime. Okay, that's what I'm thinking about for this initial investment from here. The Astro, compared with Anchor, much more bearish. That is why I'm not gonna find the additional investment in Astro at this moment. Okay. Then that's all, make it up, MKL. So, a lot of investors pay attention to the potential of the MakerDAO because of the USD crash, right? But here's the key things. What I want you to understand here about the potential of the MakerDAO. Currently, we have three major approach for the decentralized stable coin. Full over consolidations, semi algorithmics like FRAX, and the full algorithms based one like USD. Then this time, as we know, this model here is crashed. That is why you know, investors pay attention to this over collateralization model again, but to scale up over collateralization model, 
all the time primary problem we, they have to solve is stable asset over collateralization model. Currently, Mekara is working on real, real estate assets like land or apartment something, but still takes much more time. Probably, you might guess, it's going to take like three to five years or so. Then, until then, if MakerDAO does any kind of additional action to redesign the whole ecosystem or software itself, we cannot have a pretty big expectation for the MakerDAO to scale up their DAI ecosystem. Again, that's why once we got to look at this, this you know, MKR USD daily chart here, you know, because of this, you know, USD plus crash, they're going to get a pretty big move here. As you can see, I think a lot of retail investors are going to buy MakerDAO token here, but still, I'm a little bit skeptical for this point here. Probably they won't sustain until BTC forming in the bottom half from here. So still, I'm going to see a little bear strength from here for the MKR tokens. Okay. The next one, related market updates, Bruce and Bruce Channel OS. The major bus active stats, old player negative, it's pretty big. And the lunar out of ranking from this week. Okay. The next one, major bus gas fee, slaughter number one, polygon number two, and average number three this week. Okay. The next one, six stats, in one L2. Ethereum, Slaughter, and Cardano because Lunar is out of ranking. Then also, number nine, Flow is locked in. It's good. The next one, Liquid Staking TV updates. Also, pretty big negative stats here. Then, it looks like a lot of finance heavily rely on Ethereum staking solution. That is why their TVL is not that big negative hit here, which is good for them. Okay. Next one, Rider Finance. Still bearish, as you can see, weekly chart basis. Then now they are testing 1.3 dollar these key support line right here. Then this timing is kind of good time for buy. This timing seemingly, you know, pretty big time, pretty big good timing. Buying a dips here, but probably I'm gonna see a little more pressure from here because Bitcoin not bottoming out yet. Because Bitcoin is not bottoming out yet. That's why. Yeah. The next one, DeFi Dex. So, May 15th, 24 hour trading volume comparison between Central Exchange and Dex and the last week, 8.5 to 1. This week, 12, 12 to 1. Then, no big stat change on Central Exchange. Instead, Dex stat is going down. That's why. Yeah. Especially, we're going to lose a lot. Especially, we're gonna lose a lot of trading volume from Astro Post here. Okay. The next one, Dex TV updates, all negative. Then, Carb Pool TV updates. So, STs, FRAX, 3 pool, no big change, but 1 pool, 2 ranks down because of the USD market crash. Okay. The next one, Cross Chain Bleach KPI. Multi chain, still literally number one. Their TV size is 3.68. 8 billions. Then Poro used to be a second player next to multi chain. This week they got lost around minus 80%. Then they got lost, you know, under 1 billion TVL right now. It's a pretty big drop. It's because Poro looks like heavily rely on USD transactions. That's why. Then it's on DeFi stablecoin lending. So lending market updates. All negative. As you can see, especially Anchor minus 70, minus 7, minus 97%. It's a pretty big drop. Then, as usual, stable coin market key updates. As you can see here, USD ranked down to top five here, right? The USD died, get back again. But still, USD higher than FRAX. That's the key things we can have from here, okay? Then key news updates. U.S. Treasury Secretary Yan points to USD slip as for new stablecoin legislation by the end of 2022. We have to so seriously pay attention to these updates. The reason is, based on the regulations, some of the stablecoin project might lose their business or market momentum. Okay, so that's why we have to so seriously pay attention to these stats. Okay. 
So here's additional news. So you know, this visual image told us about you know, the key mindset for the hodler, for the crypto assets. Most people, most people think about you know, this you know, smooth scenario here, but actual photo is like this way. So we have to be extremely patient to hold the high potential token in long term. Otherwise, we cannot get the big return. The key story we can learn from here. Yeah. Then this is the last slide. Holo is the best for the retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize the return. Because investment in crypto assets, just like investment in early days of Google and Facebook, then once we got to look at the legendary angel investor traction, such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Vinoman, all the time, they're going to take the simple investment approach. It's a long-term investment. Then here is another evidence for the balance of church. This is a Bitcoin case, and the longest holder of the Bitcoin also maximize the return. In this case, plus 220%. Much larger than the other short amount of here. So I'm gonna also basically take the long-term investment approach. So I'm gonna also, so I'm gonna also, I'm gonna also recommend you guys to take the same approach too. Okay. All right. So that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for educational purpose. So we're not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain level investment outcome with this video and next video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and this space. So I'm gonna make a lot of in this video on crypto and this space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.